What's going on YouTube? Back with another video. Hey, I'm going to make this introduction real quick. And today it is Sunday, <clears throat> August 18th. And this is it, man. I am on my way to Santos Mountain Bike Park. A friend of mine, Victor, is coming to pick me up. Um, I went to a, his house yesterday and he was just talking and I was like, hey, let me know next time you go to Santos. I'll be ready for you. He was like, I'm going tomorrow. So I was like, all right, let's do it. So the crazy part is, is that I just hit Alafaya Trail yesterday, you know, now I'm about to go in another big uh, park, Santos, which is the real deal. So um, I'm excited about it, but I'm also a little nervous as well. My legs are sore. I got scrapes and scratches from yesterday, but I'm still going. So um, I would do my review after the trail. I'm still at home right now. I'm waiting for him to come pick me up. And then uh, I'll let you guys know how it how it goes. But um, I'm excited, so I will see you on the trail. I'll hit you back in a few. Peace. All right, we're okay. ready. <laughs> so on this section here, uh -huh. it's going to be a tad bit technical. Okay. So on the drop, just let the bike go, man. Okay. You know, just don't put on the brakes. Just let it go. All righty. <laughs> Thumps. So you probably need to switch your gears a little bit. Okay. I mean, you're doing okay. Yeah. But I always like to ride easy gears, even on these downhills. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Just in case. All right. You climb a lot easier. Yep. Hey. Yeah. Like it's all uphill. <laughs> Feels like it for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh huh. Yeah. So that one feels like it's all uphill. Okay. The downhills are so quick. Yeah. Like seven on the right. Like exactly. <laughs> that is true. Right. Okay. Hey. Yeah. 
smooth though. Dogs back here. Okay, it's the mountain. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> you have the okay, yeah. I'll go ahead and switch that one there. <sighs> it's steep. It's steep and you gotta keep moving. Okay. So you wanna come up closer and watch me. Okay. So you see how I do it? Alright. You ready? Yep. I might need it again. Oh wow. Oh, shit. I knew that was gonna happen. Good God, man! I want to see. You. Go back and fly, man. All right. Okay. Oh my God, that's gonna be tough. What's his name? The one from last night. Yeah. So this is where braking makes a big deal because you you really ride your bike with your brakes. Okay. You know what I'm saying through this stuff. Okay. Um, doing the switchbacks, you gotta have some braking, you know, prowess. Uh huh. Know? Right. Um, but you don't want to stay too, you know, brake. Right. Too heavy on it. Yeah. All right. Let me get here a little room. Uh huh. You know, I just normally go right through it. Right. Yeah. Oh shit. My pedal just came off. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it came off? Yeah. 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 I don't know. Did it break? No, it didn't break. Or did it break? Wait, what the hell just happened? Ah, oh, you're kidding me right now. It broke? I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. It might have. No, it's not broken. But it feels right. like it's stripped. It's like real loose in there. Oh, really? It's stripped. It did strip? Sure did. Damn it, man. You got to be kidding me. Nope. So that's it, man. Can't ride without uh, that. Yep, sure did strip. You know what happen? probably happened, man? To be honest with you, it probably wasn't on all the way. That's why it was stripped. If it was, if it's hanging, yeah, you know, it's it's gonna it's gonna wear itself out. 
So that's why, man, it's, it has to be. Yep, so now. So now I gotta buy a whole nother. No. Mm -mm. You don't? No. So what you only thing you have to do is they can redo this. Okay. Right? Because it happened to me. Okay. Right? So what they'll do is redo this whole thing, build that back up, and, and put another screw in it, and then it'll be fine. It may be a little bit tighter. Um, you may have to, you know, the pedals look like they're fine. Yeah. It's just that they came out of that. Yep. That sucks. That sucks, <laughs> man. It's all right, man. It's all right. Um, all right, well, I'm going to head back. You go ahead, man. No, what I'm going to do, do you know how to, well, you're going to have to be able to get back. So instead of going back down that steep section, uh -huh. um, man, it's hard to ride with you, and there's no way to ride with one pedal. Right. Um, and Dano is not going to be able to fix it either. I don't know what time he closes. Mm -hmm. You can ask him. We can go over there and ask him, say, hey, can you can you get this, you know, um like read through it he's not he's not gonna be able to do it man because that because it takes a while mm -hmm. to to do the whole rethreading um you know it'd be easier man probably shoot just to get another crank arm mm -hmm. that's what i was thinking because those things are easy to come off mm -hmm. <coughs> just get just get two new ones well all you need is just this right here so this yeah right here and then this one is separate right so you just need the one that goes through with the into the bottom bracket. Yeah. <coughs> but um but yeah right. you're gonna have to so follow me out because okay. you, you're not gonna know how to get out of here. Okay. You, that. you sure it's not easy just to go back? Nah. All right. <laughs> well, um if it's just going down that hill rather than carrying this, depends on how far this is though. No, this is no, we're gonna go over this way. Okay. And then go back up and it's gonna be easier route. Okay. But um what you I can't may believe want to this. do is pedal with one foot. Okay. You know, to stay on the bike. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just to get some kind of. Yeah, because you don't want to. Get there it. faster, right? You don't have to push it. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what? Um. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. You may be able to get through on the outside. I can go straight through the middle, I think. Uh, yeah, lost the pedal, so, uh, so, yeah. Yeah. You know what I would do if I was you? I gotta go back the other way. <laughs> Take your shoe off, man. Uh, but see, I got on these, like, these socks I got on are connected to the shins. It ain't even your regular socks. Like, go back around. That's a minute. let me see. There's no way. Let me see. Oh yeah, I think I can make this. Yeah. You can. Yeah. My God, this stuff stinks. <laughs> one for the storybooks well, I tell you. <laughs> yeah. oh what's going on everyone um so today um had an epic fail first ride at santos i was really excited about it i know i posted the early introduction video letting you know i was going there and as you can tell by the video um, a mishap happened. I actually had my right pedal break off off the crank arm. Um, it actually stripped. And I think I actually know how it happened. I know why it happened. And um, it just sucks. I'm going to have to buy a whole new crank arm set um, to get that replaced, which is like an extra hundred bucks. But um, basically what I think happened today is that when I first buy, bought the uh, when I first bought the Nashiki Colorado, um, I rode it about three or four times before realizing that it was making this very weird, screaking like 
just a weird like creak noise. And actually it's in my video on the video that I did with um, at Markham, Markham Park and Sunrise. In the video I actually say, what is that creaking noise coming from my pedal? And um, what had happened during that time was um, when I bought the bike, I didn't check the pedals right away. And after replacing the pedals, I realized that nobody put any grease at all in the actual, um, on the actual pedal that goes into the crank arm. And because it was not greased properly, you had basically metal against metal. And I think over time, going on some of these hills and some of these um, technical parts on some of these trails, uh, it stripped, it actually stripped the crank arm. And even though this one was heavily greased, by that time it had worn out and it just basically fell out. Luckily though, I was not going downhill. Luckily I was not on anything very technical. Lucky I was, I was um, just going straight, you know, and it broke off because that could have definitely ended up differently if I was going down here or doing something very technical. So I'm cool. I'm okay. Thank God it happened the way it happened, but um, just sucks because it ruined the trip. I was about a mile in and, and then I had to walk a mile back out. You know, it's about an hour and a half. And so it was like a, a you know, a waste of a trip, you know, for me, as far as actually experiencing the trail, I did have fun with my friend Victor though. Uh, shout out to him who who's definitely, you know, uh, made it made it a fun trip regardless. But I just hate that I didn't get the experience to trail. But I'm still gonna post a video because that's my first actual. You know, it happens, and I just wanted to share with you that sometimes these things happen on the trail. So make sure everything is lubed and greased, guys. Make sure your pedals. Make sure your stem. Make sure your seat posts. Make sure anything that requires grease or lubrication that is lubricated and that is greased properly because you don't want this to happen to you. So all in all, it's cool. I got to at least see the park. I got to kind of see what to expect in the beginning and I'm excited to go back. There definitely will be a part two, but I just wanted to show you these guys' videos of what happens on the trail at times. So it is what it is, um, but I still believe in that bike. I just ordered the SRAM um, crank set uh, and I'm excited about that because, you know, it has the SRAM one by system already on the bike. And so the thing is, is I knew eventually I'm going to have to switch out some of these components on, on these bikes because they're just cheaply made. Um, that's why the bike, you know, is so cheap for what it, what it is, you know, even though that one by system is, is worth at least 300 bucks or more by itself, there's other cheap components on the bike. That's why I normally at first, when I get a new bike, I always switch out the pedals, I always switch out the seat, I always switch out the handlebar, I always switch out the stem instantly. That's the first thing I do and add a mud guard and normally switch out the tires instantly. Um, I, didn't, I didn't switch out the crank arm or anything, crank, the crank set or anything, but it looks like that may be what I need to do on all of my bikes as well, because I think all of them are kind of cheaply made, to be honest with you. So it is what it is. It's just, it's just, you know, comes with the territory of, you know, buying these bikes at, at such a low price. There are pros and cons to it. So, but eventually these parts will fail and you will have to replace them with better parts. So, but yeah, just be safe out there. Do manual checks on your bikes, man. Check them out. Make sure everything's good to go. Um, you know, I never would have thought this would have happened, but I just thank God that it happened the way that it happened because if I'd have been going downhill and lost a pedal and, um, you know, some of that, I just think of some of the terrain and some of the, 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 the trails that I've been on, yeah, that, that could have been a nasty, nasty fall. So, but hey, it's all good. I'll see you on the next video. We'll do it again next time. Santos, baby. I'll check you out next time. You guys be safe. Have a good week. Peace.